Jag önskar fri till alla er som tar del av denna inspelning. Det eh, finns de som har frågat om jag kan inte prata lite mer. Och, eh, det vill jag gärna när jag känner att jag har något bra att säga. Annars pratar jag tillsammans med Lidian. Och, eh, allt som vi framför eh, vi framför tillsammans. Även om jag ser inte så mycket i ord. Eh, stödjer jag honom. Eh, jag pratar bäst på engelska. Så jag hoppas att ni överser med det fel som jag gör. Det är inte lätt att beskriva allt som jag känner i mitt hjärta. Och allt som händer runt omkring vår familj. Men det är inte en snäll behandling som vi utsätts för. Våra kära barn har tagits ifrån oss. På ett väldigt felaktigt sätt. Min kära dotter i Israel slits ut av mina armar av två poliser och en social kvinna på ett grund för att hon inte är registrerad som vi försökte genomföra. Och även om vi gjorde ett DNA-prov som visar att jag är mamman och vill jag är pappan. De fortfarande är krångla och ge inte henne tillbaka heller. Och alla våra andra barn har visat att de är friska och duktiga och intelligent. Och de har ingen anledning att hålla barnen. Och jag ska försöka att ha så mycket talamod jag kan. Men de måste följa lagen. Du måste följa mänskliga rättigheter och de säger att de jobbar för barnens bästa. Men allt som de gör visas precis tvärtom. Ja, jag har, vi har gjort en inspelning på engelska och vi tänkte att klippa in mitt del. Som vi pratade lite mer om, om våra ärende och hur vi ska försöka att reda ut saker. Och vi är väldigt tacksamma för alla er som stödjer oss och ber för oss. Och tack så jättemycket för det. Och, ja, jag hoppas att jag kan prata lite mer en annan gång. Så tack för att ni lyssnade. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Anne. But my mother has always called me Amira. Uh, I was born in Egypt, but I moved to Canada with my family when I was a young girl. And that's where I grew up. I met my husband uh, on a trip to America. And then I moved to Sweden and we have now been married for 11 years. Together we have four lovely children that were seen in the prayer. Jibreel, Jamil, Imran and Israel, whom I love with all my heart. When I first moved to Sweden, I liked it here. I found the people to be very kind and friendly. Uh, but unfortunately, the past two years, uh, things have changed as our family has been attacked from many different directions. Uh, growing up in Canada, I lived a more secular life. And uh, until I decided to turn closer to faith. Uh, together, my husband and I have tried to inform ourselves about the human rights and freedoms. And I've learned that it is a duty for all of Sweden to use their power respectfully as representatives of the people. And that Sweden is committed to follow human rights. I've never made any offense, nor I have I asked for any money from the government. And for reasons still not clear to me, I was denied a renewed residence permit by the Migrations Office. Uh, although I've been married here for many years with four Swedish-born children. Uh, as a mother, I'm entitled to special care from society, uh, but instead I've been experiencing the opposite, to the point that all my children have been taken away from me forcefully.
my dear daughter Estra, who was two years old and still breastfeeding, was literally dragged out of my arms by two police officers and a social worker. And the reason they used for doing something so cruel was that she was not as yet registered uh, after being born in our home. And the registration was something that we were trying to fulfill. And they used the matter of registration above all of her basic human rights, uh, such as the rights to be with her parents, with her family and friends, rights to her motherly milk, um, and to be forced to a home, a new home, with parents who are clearly not hers. Uh, it's been my goal in my life to give birth at home. And during my fourth pregnancy, I felt ready to make it on my own. And after the birth of my daughter, which was the most magical night of my life, we went ahead to register her. Uh, a few weeks later, we were contacted by the tax office um, and they had told us that the registration was incomplete and that they did not accept it. So instead of showing care and respect, they put us into a very difficult process uh, through different courts and we had then provided them with a DNA test that proved us both to be the parents and they still denied registration. Uh, to further put it now into another court, which is still ongoing. Uh, she was first separated from her two older brothers, as my husband had mentioned, and now they had separated her again from the brother she had been living with for uh, since she's been taken from us. Uh, she's now placed in a home without a single family member, far away from all of us, where our hearts are crying to be united with her. Uh, they also took all our other children with empty accusations. My five-year-old son, Imran, uh, who was a very lovely boy, uh, was taken for the reason of, that we didn't attend a doctor's appointment, which had no need for. Uh, after they took him, he was uh, rushed into an emergency medical uh, screening uh, that actually showed that he was fully healthy, but they still continued to hold him. And our dear sons, Jibreel and Jamin, uh, were taken away from us with accusations of neglecting their health and their education. Uh, and this was made by two social workers who have never met us, when the truth is our children have been healthy all of their lives and are very well developed in their personalities. Praise to God. We love our children with all of our hearts and we have been seeking to give them um, the best means of health and education for all of their lives. I've been cooking healthy food for them uh, almost every day. I gave them all a full nursing period and as much motherly love as I could possibly produce. And they all love to read and write and count and help with practical work. We've been asking to meet our children for three hours in a peaceful environment. Uh, which we've been denied on several occasions. Uh, the only offer we get is to meet them for one hour under strict surveillance uh, in a closed environment to then separate from them again. And we have not accepted this as we think it is very harmful for the children and for us to meet and separate in such a manner. Uh, aside from taking all of our children, which is the worst possible punishment I can imagine. They have also charged me with $15,000 for not leaving over my children to a, a education that I'm not secure with. Uh, and in times that we need to prepare our family to eventually leave Sweden, as the Migration Office have denied my permission to stay here. Uh, 
Uh, I've been working to take care of my children, uh, so to make this kind of payment is not something I can just do, and it adds a lot more difficulties to the difficulties that have already been placed on me. Uh, I'm willing to leave Sweden freely, so there's no need to throw me out, uh, but my children needs to be returned first, and we need a fair time to prepare our family uh, to leave peacefully. And I hope, sh I hope that sharing our story uh, will help our situation and our family. And I'm grateful for all the support and prayers that is given to us. Uh, so God bless you all and thank you for listening.